everyone it's Kelly how are you today's video we are going to be asking the question when is a bargain not a bargain let's check it out so I shop at Coles all the time and so straight away of course I noticed the value area it's right next door to the Mother's Day products and I did have a quick scan of all the items and figured that I would deal with it later because nothing really jumped out at me straight away that you need this item however it is my due diligence <laughs> to research and work it out because I want to share with you guys the information that I found I actually saw on YouTube uh, a news clipper that they talked about it and they interviewed a few people for their feedback and I agree with what a lot of people say that if you use a lot of it it probably is a good value but then they interviewed Costco shoppers who were already bulk buy and a lot of them were saying that it probably wouldn't really sway them unless it was cheaper so the question is is bulk buying cheaper for this coal section of course I've taken some notes for you guys and I'm going to share my feedback with you on that so the first thing that I need to tell you guys with any shopping is number one, you need to know your prices. You need to know what the unit price is and if you look at the stickers right down the bottom, it will say per 100 grams, per kilo, whatever the amount is, that's what per unit price is. It makes pricing and price comparisons fair and equal across the board. So the first thing I saw was the Milo 1.32 kilo tin. It is the biggest tin I have seen either from Coles or Woolworths. I think I've seen a tin that big at Costco once, but I don't have a membership. I was visiting with a friend. If you are big, big Milo drinkers, it is excellent value. It works out to be 98 cents for 100 grams. And so I walked around the corner to where they sell Milo to have a look at the other things that were on special and shelf price to compare the prices. So a one kilo tin that was there, normal shelf price, $12.50. So it is $1.25 per 100 grams. So not cheaper than the big bulk one. And a 460 tin, which was on special for $5, it works out to be a dollar nine for a hundred grams. So if you drink a lot of Milo, I'd be getting that tin. It's well worth it. The last Milo we bought was this 760 grams. I think from memory it was $7 or $7.50 and it has lasted us quite a while. So we bought this because it worked out to be about a dollar. So for us, this is cheaper than buying the bulk. So I bought it and this will last us for quite a while. So for us, the bulk, big bulk tin is not worth it, but for some families, absolutely, it would be worth it for you. Next, we have the Coles Bake and Create Milk Choc Chip Buds. This bag looks absolutely amazing. I was so tempted to buy a packet because I do do a lot of baking in this house. However, I know that a lot of the bits would be like this and not so much in the baking. So I'm just holding off for just a little bit. It was $8 for a 750 gram. So it works out to be $1.07 for the 100 grams. So of course, walked around the corner to the baking section to have a look at what else was there just to compare. They had the smaller packets there for $2.50. So that's $1.25 for 100 grams. So if you use that product, absolutely cheaper to buy the bigger product straight away. Around the corner, they had the Cadbury's Choc Chips right next to it as well. That shelf price was not cheaper uh, than compared to the other product. It was $3 on special, so still the Coles one is cheaper. However, the Cadbury one goes on special many, many times for $2.12 a packet. It is smaller in size though, so be aware of that. However, it works out to be $1.06 for the 100 grams, whereas compared with the bigger packer, it's $1.07. So if you care about saving one cent, <laughs> then you can wait for the special and you can buy up. And sometimes there'll even be a flyby offer where you can get some bonus points. But again, it's up to you. If you bake a lot, then absolutely go for it. I do bake a lot, however I also know that the items that I bake in my house are for the household and they disappear within the next day. So I just buy the Coles dark chocolate chips, it's compound chocolate and the chips are actually quite small, whoops, <laughs> however they do the job. As I've said, my items go within a day or two so I'm happy to buy or use something a bit cheaper 
yeah if i was a commercial baker or selling products or i wanted something to photograph that looked really really good i would buy the bigger choc chips they look amazing in cornflake cookies and things like that too so personal preference totally up to you the white wings flour looked really good however for me flour is flour again if you're a commercial baker and uh, might be about the taste i didn't turn it around to have a look at all the ingredients because I was in a hurry but you know it might be a product that you enjoy using so for you the bulk buy probably is worth it it was ten dollars for the five kilo bag so it worked out to be two dollars a kilo so again walked around to the baking aisle to have a look at what was there they had uh, two kilo bags for five dollars so it works out 250 a kilo so not cheaper than the bulk buy and that but they had there the one kilo bag which was $2.35. So $2.35 for a kilo is cheaper than the $2 bag, but not cheaper than the bulk buy. So it's worth it. For us, of course, flour is flour. I buy the Coles plain flour. It's a few different prices. I've probably written the wrong thing down. It's a dollar for a kilo bag. I just got this. I think this was the only thing on the shelf when I went to go. I normally get the two kilo bags because it works out to be about a dollar eighty, so it's ninety cents per kilo. Uh, yeah, again, flour is flour, and for items that last like two days in our house, <laughs> that's what it is. The greens cake mix bottle that was on a special there was very tempting. One point seven kilos. For the price, it works out to be a 53 cents for 100 grams. You get seven cakes out of that or a lot of cupcakes. It depends on what you like to make. However, we walked around the corner to the baking section and of course this was here on special for $1.90. And this pack has the icing. I'm not sure if you could see that. The icing mix included. So you are getting a, sort of a better cake. I should say for your money the other thing that a lot of people have been telling me recently is they've been getting this Coles chocolate cake mix for 75 cents and they're just adding a little bit of extra butter in there because it needs two eggs and it's super super moist it's just as good as the greens cake mix so again totally up to you I guess if you're a commercial baker there's no way that you'd be touching this with a 10 foot barge pole uh, but again in our house this is gonna be gone in two days so I'm more than happy to spend 75 cents on cake mix and it goes the uncle Toby muesli bars they look really good as well there were seven dollars for the 18 pack so they work out to be a dollar 24 for 100 grams or the more logic is they were 38 cents for a muesli bar. To us, a muesli bar is a muesli bar because in the cupboard, my muesli bars look like this. They're a muesli bar. Yes, they probably don't look as good as the Uncle Toby's and I'm sure that they don't taste as good. However, in two bites, they are gone. So I'm not worried. We buy the Coles pack, which is $1.90. There's eight in a packet, so it works out to be 77 cents for 100 grams, or 23 cents for a muesli bar, or 23 cents for two bites of food. The bigger peanut butter, I really had to do my research on this one. It was quite deceiving, let me tell you why. Two kilo bucket works out to be 83 cents for the 100 grams. That sounds and looks amazing. So walked around the corner to where they sell peanut butter and what did I find? For $6.50, you can get a jar that is 780 grams, which equals 83 cents for the 100 grams. It's exactly the same price. So if you use a lot of peanut butter, then absolutely maybe buy the two kilos. However, I would just be buying the shelf price because it's exactly the same price. For us as a family, we buy the cold peanut butter because we don't really use it as a peanut butter. We use it inside satay mixes and things like that. So the Coles is $1.80, works out to be 48 cents for 100 grams to help with a little bit of flavoring in a meal. So this is what I'm going to use. As far as the ingredients go, I'm sure that this probably has a lot more whatever inside of it than the bigger 
uh, and it is cheaper than crushing up and making my own almond uh, butter, which I know that some people do. Absolutely, go for it. The two minute noodles box that was there, that looks so tempting as well. And compared to what's on the shelf price for this week, for right now, absolutely a good bargain. Grab it and go. I know a lot of my friends who have children with autism, it's one of their staple diet foods. Absolutely, grab that box and run home. <laughs> absolutely. $10 for an 18 packet, so it works out to be 77 cents for the 100 grams. Currently, they are not on special. They are $3.95 for a packet of five, so it's $1.10 for 100 grams, so you're not saving. And the bigger packets are $8 for a packet of 12, so it's 93 cents for 100 grams. So the big box so far is winning, absolutely. So these are the individual little packets that you get, the Magic Noodles. However, hmm, we buy these in the packs of five when they are $2. So they work out to be 55 cents for 100 grams. So if I wait until these are $2 and I bulk buy to equal that same box, that 77 cents 100 grams, I'm only paying 55 cents 100 grams. So I'm saving. I take a big gamble <laughs> in hoping that I don't run out of noodles. However, I cycle our food around to make sure that we stretch them out. And if we run out, we run out, we move on to other pasta. There were many other things on there that I had a look at, but nothing that we would really use. And so I just didn't do the time or the research to have a look at it. Um, I did try and check out though the mayonnaise because I know that people rave about that. Uh, I couldn't see anything else on the shelf that was the same, so nothing really to do with price comparison. Uh, we use an aioli sauce in this house, not a mayonnaise, so really for us it wasn't an item that interested us. The same with the herbs and the pickles and the other things like that, we just don't eat them. So I just focused mainly on the things that really jumped out and flashed to me and the items that we would use in the house. So that's everything for today. What did you think about the things that I shared? Was there anything that surprised you? I know that when you're shopping in the moment, everything looks good and the flash and the color, they know what they're doing, those marketing people. And as I said, I was so tempted to buy many, many things, but I, I'm just waiting to <laughs> see what's out there. So I'd love to know anything that you buy in bulk. Leave me a comment below if there's anything that you surprised you or that you buy. I would love to hear from you. Please like, comment and subscribe to this channel for more budget help tips and other things along the way. Thanks for joining me today and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.